So how do I color and glaze my hybrid? I use optic glaze color to color glaze my ceramic, my CeraSmart. It is light curable and of course do not need oven to fire it. And you can use it for CeraSmart, for composite, for your temporary PMMA, and you can even use it on a denture tube. But keep in mind, not all the dental curing lights are the same. The optic glaze color require 403 nanometer to cure. So you will need to check the wavelength range for your current curing light. If you have the all halogen light still in your storage, take it out, they will still work for the optic glaze. So make sure your curing light can, can cure 430, including the 430 nanometer range. So how long will the light cure glaze last? Here is showing the wear resistance of the optic glaze color. You can see even after 50,000 time brush wear, it still maintain pretty good gloss. You only losing from 90 to around 70 after 50,000 brush test versus denture T versus cell cure resin versus high strength composite. And again, I always tell my patient that the crown of feeding I put in your mouth will age with you. Therefore, maintenance is needed. So if we need to reglaze it, we can reglaze it intraorally quickly. Here's a quick video that I wanna demonstrate how to prepare the CeraSmart for color and glaze and how I quickly do this characterization with the optic glaze color. You steam clean it. Again, this is the cheap steamer. I got it from Amazon. You put on a silent, which is a GC ceramic primer tube. the chroma if your box is in shade 8 and you use a plus if it's e then use b plus you 
put on a cervical margin. And after that, and you put it on your crucial, pin it. And it is some st brown stand to the pit or groove. some white on the uh, uh, cast tip, marginal ridge. And the good thing about light cure thin glaze is if it's too much, you can wipe it off before you cure it. And remember, your curing light had to be covered at 430 wavelengths. After I initial cure the color, the glaze and then you fully like cure it and that's after.